Hi guys! This is Mama Lu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel! So today we're going to talk about real-life applications of linear equations. So, ito yung topic na madalas nagiging problema ng mga high school students and even college. No? Nahihirapan silang mag-solve ng real-life problems. So, in this video, i-guide ko kayo kung paano natin gagamitin yung linear equations to solve real-life problems. Okay, so we now have the real-life applications of linear equations. Problem number one. You are the service manager of an auto repair shop. You charge 588 pesos per hour for labor plus the cost of any parts. A car needed 13,224 pesos of new parts and the final deal of the car was 22,134 pesos. How long did it take to repair the car? Okay. Uh, for number one, our question is, how long did it take to repair the car? Okay, so you're going to find the number of hours it took to repair the car. But before we can answer that question, we need to look for the given in the problem. Okay, first given. Okay, so you charge 588 pesos per hour for labor. Okay, so that's the first given. What else? Another given, a car needed 13,224 pesos of new parts. So that is the cost of the parts needed to repair the car. And the final bill of the car was 22,134 pesos. Okay, so for the first one, we are asked to find how long did it take to repair the car. So that will be represented by X. Okay, so let X be the number of hours, number of hours it took. Okay, because the question is how long did it take? So let x be the number of hours it took to repair the car okay so from the given no, so we have underlined all the given we have known that the final bill the final bill okay so the final bill amounted to 22,134 pesos. Okay. Now, so the final bill is equal to, it's equal to the service charge, di ba? Or the amount of labor per hour. So, service charge, service charge per hour plus Okay, the amount of the parts. Okay, amount of parts. Okay, so okay, so this is the final bill is equal to service charge. How okay, how much is the service charge per hour of labor? So that is 588 pesos per hour. So, since we're asked to find the number of hours, we do not know it, and we represented it by X. So, therefore, service charge 588 times X. Okay? 
plus the amount paid for the parts. So, how much is the amount paid for the parts? So, that's 13,224 pesos. Okay, so this is our equation. So, now we can uh, find the number of hours, no? The x. So, this is our final equation. So, from our lesson last time, you have to isolate the x, no? On one side. So, we have here plus 13,024. So, in order to isolate it, we use the in a reverse operation or inverse operation. So, 588x plus 13,224 minus 13,224. Same with this side. If you subtracted 13,224 on this side, you are going to subtract here also. So, 22,134 minus 13,224. Okay, you have here positive plus negative. Okay, that is zero. So, we cancel it. So, 22,134 minus 13,224 is what? So, so, we have here 8,910 is equal to 588x. Okay, so again, to isolate x, you have to do the inverse. So, this is multiply. So, we divide both sides by 588. So, 588 over 588 is 1. So, cancel. So, x or 1x is equal to what? We have to divide 8,910 by 588. So, what is the answer? So, x is, okay, so this is 15.15 something. So, x is approximately equal to 15 hours. So, the number of hours it took to repair the car is approximately equal to 15 hours. Problem number two. The Young Ecologians Club is making posters to raise money. The printer charges a base fee of 2,700 pesos plus 20 pesos per poster for supplies. You sell each poster for 50 pesos. How many posters must you sell to make 3,000 profit? So let's identify what is asked in the problem. Okay, so for this problem, you're asked to... Okay, identify the number of posters must you sell to make 3,000 profit. Okay, how many, pro how many posters will you be able to sell in order to make 3,000 profit? Okay, let us identify the given. So the first one, okay, the printer charges a base fee of 2,700 pesos. Okay, another one plus 20 pesos per poster for supplies. So, aside from 2,700, you will add 20 pesos per poster for supplies. Now, you sell each poster for 50 pesos. Okay, so those are the given in the problem. Okay, for number two, you're asked to get how many posters must you sell to make 3,000 pesos profit, okay? So, that's the unknown in the problem. The number of posters that you must sell in order to make 3,000 pesos profit, okay? So, let X be the number of posters, Okay, that you must sell that uh, the number of posters that must be sold, okay, must be sold to earn how much? Okay, to earn 3,000 pesos profit, okay? So, if you are not yet familiar with profit, okay, what is a profit? 
the profit is something that you earn from your business. Okay, it's the earning. So, profit is equal to income minus expenses. Okay? Income. Okay? That is your revenue or that is the total amount of sales. Okay? So, profit is equal to income minus expenses. Okay? Expenses includes the cost. Okay, the cost of the printing, of the materials, etc. So, profit is equal to income minus expenses. Okay, from the problem, sabi, in order to have a profit of 3,000 pesos. So, we write here, 3,000. Now, where will your income come from? Okay, saan magagaling yung income natin? Okay, so your income here will come from the uh, posters that you're going to sell no the number of posters that you're going to sell but it is also stated there that you sell each poster for 50 pesos so each poster is being sold for 50 pesos times the number of posters that you were able to sell yun manggagaling ang income mo so, it should be 50 times X. Okay? Remember, you sell each poster for 50 pesos. And if you're going to sell the posters for X number of times, for X, for X, if you're going to sell it for X number of posters, so dun manggagaling yung iyong income. Okay? Did you understand? Okay, so 50 pesos per poster times the number of poster. That will be your income. Okay, now your expenses. Your expenses includes the charges. Okay, it is mentioned there that the printer charges a base fee of 2,700 pesos plus 20 per poster. So, your expenses alone includes the 2,700 pesos, that's the base fee for the printer, plus the amount charged per poster. So, plus 20, again, that is per poster. So, 2,700 plus 20x, that is your expenses. Okay? So now, this is our equation. So let's try to solve for x. The x that stands for the number of posters that must be sold in order for you to earn 3,000. Okay? So since we have here, okay, a parenthesis which is preceded by a negative sign. So when you remove that, we are going to change the sign of each of the terms inside the parenthesis. So, we have 3,000 is equal to 50x minus, this is minus because this is plus. So, minus 2,700 and this is also minus 20x. Okay? Now, let us simplify. Let us simplify this side of the equation. So, we have 3,000 is equal to simplifying this we have 50x and 20x so minus so that is 30x okay minus 2700 okay now isolating the variable you may variable chance so we have to remove 2700 so let us use inverse operation so 30x minus 2,700 so that is plus 2,700 so you're going to do the same here plus 2,700 so we have negative 2,700 plus positive 2,700 that is zero so we have here 30x and this is 3,000 plus 2,700, that is 5,700. So, 
to isolate x, so you are going to divide by 30 divided by 30. So 30 over 30 is cancelled, that is 1. So x is equal to what? 5,700 divided by 30. X is 190. Okay? So, X is 190. So, for your X here, so X is the number of posters. So, you must have or you must sell 190 posters in order for you to have a profit of 3,000 pesos. Problem number three. You start a business selling bottled fruit juices. You invest 500,000 pesos for equipment. Each bottle costs you 15 pesos to make. You sell each bottle for 37 pesos and 50 centavos. How many bottles must you sell to earn a profit of 100,000 pesos? Okay, so let's identify what is asked for in this problem. Okay, so you're asked to get the number of bottles that you must sell in order to get a profit of 100,000 pesos. Ilang kayang bote ang ibebenta mo for you to earn a profit of 100,000 pesos. Okay, let's identify the given. Okay, the first is 500,000 for equipment. Okay, the other one is 15 pesos for each bottle. And then, you sell each bottle for 37 pesos and 50 centavos. Pesos. So, problem number 3 is similar to problem number 2, okay? But here, you're asked to find the number of bottles that you must sell. Okay, so let us represent the number of bottles as X. So, let X be the number of bottles that you must sell okay you must sell that must be sold or that you must sell okay whatever okay so in order to earn a profit so again we have profit here so we've learned in problem number two that profit is equal to okay we have the earnings minus expenses or we have the income minus expenses. So, how much is the profit that you want to earn? Okay, so that is 100,000 pesos. Okay, you want to earn a profit of 100,000 pesos. So, income. Where will your in income come from? So, it will come from? Okay, so the number of bottles that you will be able to sell. And how much do you sell each bottle? Okay, it's 37 pesos and 50 centavos per bottle. So, 37.50x, okay, dun manggagaling yung income mo. Okay, the amount per bottle times the number of bottles. Minus your expenses. Saan galing yung expenses? From the cost of the uh, equipment, syempre. And sabi doon, it's 500,000 plus saan pa? Okay, each bottle cost you 15 pesos to make. So, 500,000 plus 15 pesos, again, that is per bottle. So, 15x. So, this is our equation. Okay? So, simplifying this, this is preceded by a minus sign. So, we are going to change the sign of each of the terms inside the parentheses. So, we have 100,000 is equal to 37.50x minus, okay, that's 500,000 minus, okay, because this is plus, 
minus 15x. Okay? Simplifying the right side. So, we have here 100,000 is equal to, let us combine, no? 37.50 minus 15x. How much is that? So, we have 0.50. Then, we have 2. Okay, that is 22.50x minus 500,000. Okay? So, ito yung x natin. We have to remove this, no? We have to isolate kasi yung x. So, we have 100,000 is equal to 22.50x minus 500,000. So, the reverse operation plus 500,000. So, do the same here. So, that is plus 500,000. Okay. So, negative 500,000 plus positive 500,000 is 0. So, cancel. 100,000 plus 500,000 is 600,000 is equal to 22.50x. Again. So, isolate natin yung x. We are going to divide by, okay, 22.50. Divide by 22.50. So, cancelled. So, x is equal to what? Okay, so x is equal to 2666.67. Okay. Or x is approximately equal to 26,667. So you need to sell 26,667 bottles in order for you to have a profit of 100,000 pesos. Okay, problem number four. Jamie's parents spent 162,000 pesos on her and her sister's tuition fees this school year. Okay, so that's a big tuition fee. If her sister's tuition fees amounted to 25,025 pesos more than her fees, how much were their individual tuition fees? Okay. So, what is asked for in this problem? Okay, how much were their individual tuition fees? Okay, magkano yung tuition ni Jamie? At saka yung tuition ng kanyang kapatid. Okay, identify the given. Okay, so 162,000. That's the total of uh, their tuition fees. Jamie and her sisters. No? And then, the other information is, the tuition fee of Jamie's sister is 25,025 pesos more than her fees. Okay? Okay, so for number four, you're asked to find their individual tuition fees. Okay? So, we're talking of Jamie and her sister. Okay? So, we're going to find the Tuition fee, tuition fee of Jamie and tuition fee of Jamie's sister. Okay, sabi doon, uh, her sister's tuition fee amounted to 25025 more than her fees. More than Jamie's fees. So, we represent Jamie's fee as X. Okay? So, the, because there is nothing mentioned about the tuition fee of Jamie. So, that will be your X. Okay? But her sister's tuition fee is 25,025 more than Jamie's tuition fee. 
So, we represent it as x plus 25,025. Because it's 25,025 more than the tuition fee of Jamie. So, it is also known that uh, the parents of Jamie spent 162,000 pesos for their tuition fee. So, it's it, so 162,000 pesos is equal to the tuition fee of Jamie and the tuition fee of her sister. So, X plus, so that's the tuition fee of Jamie plus the tuition fee of her sister. So, X plus 25,025. Okay? Now, simplifying the right side. So, we have x plus x is 2x plus 25,025. Okay? Now, so isolating the term we did the variable, so you're going to subtract here on the right side. So 2x plus 25,025. So this is minus 25,025. So, same with the left side. So, 162,000 minus 25,025. So, 25,025 minus 25,025 is 0. So, this is 2x. Okay? So, this side, we have 162,000 minus 25,025. And that is... 136,975. Okay, divided by 2, because you have here 2x, no? So, divided by 2. So, x is equal to 68,487.50. Okay, so that is the amount of tuition fee of Jamie. Okay? 68,487.50. And since you're asked to find the in, their individual tuition fees, okay? So, the, the tuition fee of Jamie's sister should be X plus 25,025. So, therefore... The tuition fee of Jamie's sister, okay, Jamie's sister is 68,487.50 plus 25,025. And that is 93,512.50 pesos. Okay? So, this is Jamie's tuition fee and this is her sister's tuition fee. Okay? Next, number five. Sometimes you will be asked to solve age problems. Okay? So, number five. If Erin's age six years ago is subtracted from her age six years from now, the result will be half a year, more than one half her present age. Okay, so do you feel confused? <laughs> okay, how old is Erin now? Okay, so you're asked to find the age of Erin now. No? So that is the what we are going to solve. The age of Erin now. You're asked to find there the age of Erin now, okay? So, let X be the age of Erin now. Okay, so let us put it in a table, okay? So, this is age now, okay? Now... This is six years ago, okay? Then, this is six years from now, okay? 
So, if we represent Erin's age now as X, how will you represent Erin's age six years ago? Okay, so it must be X minus six. Okay? Now, six years from now. So, if you represent Erin's age as X, so six years from now, it should be X plus six. Okay, so we have the difference. Okay, Erin's age six years ago is subtracted from Erin's age six years from now. Okay? The result will be half a year more than one half her present age. Okay, the result will be Half a year more than. Half a year more than half her present age. Okay. More than. Half a year. Okay. The result will be half a year more than. No? Half a year more than half her present age. Okay? So, let's go back to our equation. If Erin's age six years ago is subtracted from her age six years from now, the result will be half, half a year, so one half, more than one half her present age. So this is our equation. Okay, so x is equal to 24 minus 1. Okay, that's equal to 23. So I hope you learned from our discussion today. So see, math is really easy. So for those who have not yet subscribed to my channel, mag-subscribe lang po kayo. And please watch my videos. Also, please click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo every time na mag-upload ako ng video. So, bye guys!